today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little pumpkin spice latte drink uh, along with this whipped cream and the drizzle. I even will sh start off by showing you how to make this logo, but if you don't want to make the logo yourself, don't worry. You can check out my library, which is in my website, knfdesign.com. I'll provide that to you for free. Just sign up for my library password. So. With that, let's get crafting. So I made this little logo on Cricut Design Space, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. My cup's orange, that's why I did this square background just to see how it would look behind that. So let's start with the words first. So we'll get a text box. I'll drag it over here. I just double clicked it and we're going to type in what we want it to say. And then I'm going to do another text box. And oops. Have this one say pumpkin. And one more. I click off of it and then click because it's wanting me to type my text right away. But since this one's here, it will be difficult for you to see what I'm writing. Go up to capitalist spice. Okay, and then the font I used is a child's year. So we'll go here and find that one. Set it and select that there. Oops. We want it for this one though. And we also want it for this one. And I believe this one, Cricut Sands, and Cricut Sands. Um, for some reason, this one's a gray. We want it black. Okay, so we got our fonts what we want. Um, this was just a design I had and I'll give that to you so you can just insert it in and we want the words to be in front of the pumpkin so we'll go to arrange send to back so now the word is in front of the pumpkin um, so to get this little pumpkin with the hood just go to knfdesign.com and it will be in my uh, library which you can have access to you just need to sign up for my email letters which just lets you know what projects i'll be doing each week and so you don't miss out on anything but this all of this will be in there as well if you don't want to do this yourself but i just wanted to show you how to how i made it so you can do it for other projects now to get this curved there's a word section now that they added and you can just curve your lettuce as much as you think and then for the bottom half so if you go this way it'll go down but we don't want it down we want it up so you just go the other way and just as much as you think looks good you can range them how you want if you want this orange square you can make a rectangle shapes rectangle move it over and then i just made it big to cover my thing go up to operations color we want it orange and then we also want to go to arrange and send to back that way we can see our logo in front of it so there you go we have it um what i'm going to do is select all of our black text so i hit shift and clicked on each one you can also do it over here and then I hit attach. So that 
let me put everything together so when I cut it, it'll all be together. I don't have to worry about spacing. Since this is a different, this pumpkin's a different color, I left that separate. Um, if I made it the same color, then it'd be difficult to see the word pumpkin. And then this square I'm going to hide because I don't actually want to cut out the square when I go to cut it. And that's it. I previously made these two cute hot chocolate mugs and I used spackle for the whipped cream. I've also done Halloween ones. Those are down in my uh, still in storage. I haven't poured those out yet so I will link those down below. But they turned out well. This one, I'll do this one first. This one, I made it bigger and separated it so you can put stuff inside and take off the topping if you'd like. This one my husband made and he made it even with the cup line so it does not come out. So two different techniques you can do. So for this one I'm going to be doing a pumpkin spice and I'm going to try using cock instead of spackle. I've heard this works better. This tube was bought from Dollar Tree. They did have a larger one, but uh, for the same price. But typically when I use spackle, it ends up just drying up anyway, and the rest just gets wasted. So I kind of liked the tube, so I figured I'll use the tube since it'll probably dry out anyway. But we'll see. So to start off, I need to trace on this piece of cardboard my cup. I'm just going to cut my cardboard. So here is my piece of cardboard. It'll fit with just a little bit of hangover, which will look nice. And that way it can be taken off like my other one. I have a piece of parchment paper so that things will not stick. And then to give me some height so I'm, and help support the cock, you could use a styrofoam ball and cut it in half and glue it on there. Um, I also like just crumbling up a piece of paper and sticking it in the middle. So I'm just going to apply some hot glue to stick that down. I just cut off the tip of my spackle and I got these little piping tools from Dollar Tree. There's a couple of different ones and they actually fit on it, fit it pretty nicely. Focus. And it'll squeeze out in the shape. So I tried first just what it looks like um, without any of the piping tips. And then this one here is with the piping tip, so it gets that design. There's several different ones, but I think I like this one. So, let's try it. Got to hold on to it.
feel it. I like the look of it better. This is a little messier looking and they were both a little difficult. But this holds its shape a little bit more. Um, just a preference, I think, which one you like better. And that tube definitely was just barely enough. So if you plan on doing multiples, then I would recommend getting more than just one tube. Uh, this is a cinnamon stick that I just cut down. Um, these pliers cut them well. It'll be my little straw. Stick that in there. And then I have some actual cinnamon that I'm just going to sprinkle on top. Up, you gotta have some caramel drizzled on top. So I think I'm just going to put some Mod Podge and paint in a bag and drizzle that on top. If you want more Mod Podge than paint? I just took some white and black vinyl to cut out our designs. Won't really be able to see them on this, but we will read these out now. I want to do the white first because the black goes over the top of it.
like my little saying it looks good and then we have to put on a topper i think that reverse technique could be nice especially for some of these smaller pieces like the wood since they're little um just give it a try see what you think i think it'll be a personal preference thing um and there we have a hot uh, pumpkin spice. I love this little drip thing. I thought it was kind of cute having it fall down. And the nice thing with this is like if you don't like this side here, I don't like this side, you can rotate it. So by having it just sit on top, I can rotate it. Let's say I really like that drippy. So I can have it dripping. Or if I want it off to the side, I can rotate it that way. Lots of different options. But yeah, I think it turned out nice. Here's what a pumpkin spice latte looks like all finished. And I like how I make the tops come off so you could switch it out for different seasons. Maybe make a fun festive Christmas one and switch it. Or maybe a different color cup like these nice white ones over here. These were hot chocolate mugs I made earlier on. And these were made with like spackle and this one was the cock. Um, this one's a little bit more runnier and stickier but it was nice working with that tube whereas these seem to keep this shape just a little bit more and then um, the texture is a little different too. This is a little bit more if I pressed on it harder I think I might break off pieces. I think this feels a little bit more um, sturdier, a little uh, more plasticky. Um, I really liked the logo. I think that just ties the whole pumpkin spice thing together nicely. If it'd be a little plain without it, I think. So don't forget to head to my library to get that logo for free if you don't want to make your own. Again, that's at knfdesign.com, and it'll be in my library, which is free as long as you sign up for my weekly newsletters. Um, but just let me know which one you like better. Um, and as far as working with the spackle versus the cock, just depends your own preference, what style you like better. This was a little bit when you're stickier, harder to fix any little gaps. This holds its shape more, but a little bit more brittle at the end. It was nice using that tube versus having to put it in the plastic bag, which if you've seen this video, I'll link it. The bags always seem to explode on me, so it does make for a fun little video though. So I hope you enjoy crafting with me, and I'll see you next time.